ったねー。Now that we have the complete conversion chart for the King Grinder P2, we can now make a simple comparison between the EasyPresso Q Air and the King Grinder P2. They both are in the same line, but they differ greatly in price. Um, so the King Grinder P2 comes in at 1,550 pesos or $44 in the US. And the Easy Presso Q Air comes in at 3,200 pesos here in the Philippines. I'm not sure in the US how much they are, but here in the Philippines they come in at 3,200 pesos. So we're gonna do the particle distribution comparison of the two grinders, which are the most compact and the most um, lightweight grinders that I have in my collection. All right. So first, um, I want to make sure that the groove is clean, right? And then we're gonna get, we're gonna get our um, scale, and I also need my um, iPad to take notes. Right, so test data, we need a new page, blank, All right, P2 versus the Q Air. In the last particle distribution test that I did, um, it was, wow, it was exhausting. I tried five different, uh, I tried five different grinders. And it really took a toll on me. So from now, <laughs> so moving forward, I'm only going to do two grinders at a time. And yeah, so we're going to start. We need 15 grams of coffee. Oh, okay. So we're going to do the Easy Presso Q Air first. So um, in the previous tests that we did, um, I tested for 23 clicks um, based on the Comandante. So we're going to keep it that way. So for the Easy Presso King Grinder, the exact number of 23 clicks on the Comandante is the same number here in the Easy Presso. So for the Commandante C40, it's 23 clicks. For the Easy Presso Q Air, it's number 23. So basically, if you multiply 23 by 3, that is 69. 69 clicks. Right, anyway, let's start. So I'm gonna time it 15 grams. Because there was, there was um, a single bean left. But we basically finished 47 seconds. So I'm going to write that down. 15 grams is to 47 seconds. Okay. Um, now, we're going to use the Crew Sifter again to test the particle distribution of the Q Air. We have in the Crew Sifter, we have 1,100 microns and 300 microns at the second level. There. Um, we're gonna time this as well. One minute. There. That is one minute. All right. First, we're going to wait for... We are going to wait for the boulders. All 
Okay, uh huh. So let's get our um, tray. All right, we're gonna use our brand new tray from Archers. Ah. All right. Okay, uh huh. So for the boulders, right? So for the boulders of the Easy Presso Q Air, we have 5.4 grams. Now we're gonna check for the mid size. Mid size should be. Okay, so the mid size is at 8.8. .8. And then the fine particles. The fine particles, there is a bit of fine particles. I think that's a lot. Okay, so for the micro fine particles. We have 0 0.7. Let's put everything here. Oh, I like this. Um, I like this tray a lot because you can see everything. Huh? Look at that. You can see everything. I like it a lot. Good job, archers, for the white dosing tray. Well, during during the expo, a lot of people are. A lot of people wanted the black one. But I don't think I don't think the black tray is a good idea. That's why I got the white. While well, everybody is getting the black one. <laughs> I was the only one who really wanted the white tray. Now let's do the King Grinder P2. Let's weigh for 15 grams. And according to my um, conversion chart, it should be 23 clicks is 14.2. Zero N. Okay, one rotation is 10. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, point 0.1, point 0.2. Right. So that is 14.2 and we're gonna time it. We are having the same dilemma but basically so we experienced the same um, the same problem with this uh, the burr sets cannot cannot take the bigger beans but basically it finished grinding at 38 seconds so let's take note of that 15 grams to 38 seconds it is nine seconds faster than the Q air okay let's prepare the crew sifter wow there is a lot of static in there And I think a lot of micro fine particles as well. <laughs> and start. Okay, that's one minute. Um, ah, we're gonna use the archer's um, tray again and then we're gonna measure for the boulders oh there is visually 
the boulders of the um, king grinder is less. Let's see how much it weighs. Oh wow! That is unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> First of all, the boulders look very uniform. It's very similar in size and you can you can almost say they are very much alike in shape. Yeah. Okay, but we have 2.6 only. Wow, that is crazy. 2.6 grams. Now we are gonna test for the mid size, which is a lot. There. Okay. This is crazy. Okay. Wow, that is 11.6. 11.6 mid size. And now we look at the microfine particles. There it is. We're gonna push tear. Okay. And that is. 0.8 all right zero point eight grams okay now if we add we if we add them up so for the Q air is 5.4 plus 8.8 plus 0 0.7 we get 14.9 very little retention okay now we try the p2 that's 2.6 plus 11.6 plus 0 0.8 come up with exactly 15 so both grinders have very little um, retention. I guess we did a great job at um, making sure that we get all the coffee grounds inside. But they have very different um, particle distribution. Um, they both have the same microfine particles, but they have very different distribution of the boulders and the mid size. So this will have an enormous impact in the brew. Again, I have a theory that I have yet to I have yet to prove that the boulders have as much contribution to the taste of your coffee when it comes to particle distribution. So I have yet to prove that theory, but I really have a theory that the boulders have as big of an impact as the microfine particles. Okay, now we're going to brew both of the coffees from um, Q-Air and the P2 and then we'll see what is the difference in terms of taste because of the difference in their particle distribution, right? Let me just prepare. <clears throat> right, so um, the water is ready and we're going to use both uh, V60s for this brew. We're gonna do a very simple two-pour method for for this test so that we can avoid um, variables, right? Um, I need another scale. Okay. Grinders keep falling down, right? Um, let's prepare the coffee. 
For the Easy Presso Q Air, I'm gonna use the black kettle, and then for the King Grinder P2, I'm gonna use the white kettle so that they have, they both have the same um, temperature levels at all times, right? So we're gonna start with the Q Air timer, right? A 40 ml bloom. Let's start with the um, right. And at 45 seconds, I'm gonna pour all the way to 225 for the one is to 15 ratio of the 15 gram dose. 45 Just in time The Easy Presso Pew Air finished at 131 The P2 finished at 143. Very different um, drawdowns. All right. The coffee that we used is actually um, a medium dark blend, uh, which is intended both for filter and espresso. So we should get very clear um, notes very clear distinctions now I'm gonna try now I'm gonna try the Q air oh wow <laughs> yeah that is very different um we're gonna use the um sensory cups by Lavramix. Then this is for the P2. Okay, here's what I think. The King Grinder P2 has more body and the clarity is really good it's very clear it's as opposed to the um easy presso q air the q air has more brightness to it they're both sweet they both have the same um sweetness level but the q air is a bit more thin it has less body and less clarity but it has um a brighter finish to it you can actually taste some um, brightness, um, some acidity, considering that this is an espresso blend. While with the P2, the body is really good. It's not heavy, but it's there. The body is really good. And the clarity is wow. The clar it's, it's very, uh, the clarity is really high. Considering that we we did a very simple two pour method and I just dumped all the water onto this. Imagine now, look at the look at look at the um, bed. It is cratered. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't really care how 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 the water would um, interact with the coffee bed. I just dumped the water in there. And yeah, we did we did really good coffees. 
Um, I think the P2 would excel with bringing out more body and more clarity. Um, if you think about it, yes, it does line up with the particle distribution because the P2 has more mid-size particles and less of the boulders. I think this is my this is my other theory. The boulders give you the brightness. Yeah, I think I think the boulders is the one who gives you the brightness. Okay. While the Q air having having more boulders than than the P2 gives gave us gave us more brightness to the cup. Let me try one more since the the temperatures cooled down yeah even when you use the even when you use the side of the sensory cup that is intended for the flavor notes Okay, so if you are if you are more inclined to getting more brightness out of your coffee, I think the Q Air would be the better option for you. But if you like if you like body more and if you like more clarity in your cup, then the P2 is a better option. Um, Another thing to consider is the price because they they differ in size. Ah, they differ in price. Um, the King Grinder P2 um, retails off at one thousand five hundred fifty, while the Easy Presso Q Air retails at around three thousand two hundred pesos, so double the price. Um, the Q Air, another thing to consider is the Q Air fits in your AeroPress while the P2 doesn't. But they both have the same, they both have the same form factor. They're both small. Yeah, look, they are both small. They have almost the same, they have almost the same diameter. The Q Air is easier to clean. Mainly because you can take this part out. Yeah, you can see it bare bones. But yeah, I don't know what else. So I think that is the best comparison that we can do with the Q Air and the P2. Right. Um, in the next videos, I'm gonna try and use this against the King Grinder K6 since they are marketing the P2 for the for both espresso and for filter but for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos I'm going to show you more about coffee bye even the aroma is different